looking at the year in front of us, I think for infrastructure, we're going to see a couple of things. One is we're a, a part of the market where maybe there's stress, but there's not distress. So I think we're going to see investment activity and deal activity continue pretty well in the infrastructure space. Sure, maybe there's some inflation that has to get pushed through into your renewable energy project, and you might have to need a, a price change on the solar park or wind farm you're developing, but your utility customer really wants that, uh, that product, and they know that that's an industry feature and you're being fair with them. So we're seeing inflation getting passed through in development projects pretty well. I think we also have some nice tailwinds from some major trends in the U.S. economy, right? So whether that's one, the energy transition and that utility commissions, rate payers in many parts of the country want a lower carbon future. So there's a lot of opportunity for us there. We're also seeing with the increasing digital demand from automation, artificial intelligence, all the different data applications in our society, that produces a big demand for data infrastructure and to, um, kind of communication IT infrastructure. So we think that will continue to be a big opportunity. And then the third one, a big part of our portfolio is also transportation and just the, the evolving needs of our societies and, and where people want to live and where they want to work and that needs transportation assets. So I think we'll see some good opportunities. I think we are going to see the industry kind of finding the right return level um, from where we were two years ago. Um, I think we can probably seek out somewhat higher returns than we were in the lower rate environment of the past. Um, I think that'll probably be successful. I, th I think there's going to continue to be a heap of investment opportunity over the next 12 months. Certainly the pipeline we see is really strong. Uh, the challenge will be we matching capital to that pipeline. I think in the wake of the IRA, certainly you will see more and more money being put into the US in particular. So I see certainly capital flows more from Europe into the US than the other way around. But certainly energy transition will continue to be the dominant driver of, of, of investment. Um, I think what gets sometimes neglected is the current state of our old infrastructure. Is it roads? Is it bridges? I think there's a massive bottleneck that we need to work through the next couple of years. And again, if you invested in those asset classes, it will give you a lot of opportunities. So we think infrastructure over the next 12 months um, will continue to be uh, an area of interest and focus uh, for two reasons. The first being um, increased uh, spend by government, particularly here in the U.S., um, with the passage of the uh, Inflation Reduction Act uh, and other legisl legislation that has passed through and the focus on um, building out the infrastructure. And second, uh, the infrastructure of the, um, uh, across the country and in various states. The second being the increase in focus uh, from uh, institutional investors in the space as well, with uh, investors growing their allocations to infrastructure, thereby looking for uh, way, new ways to get access to, to the asset class. So um, despite you know, what we feel are, you know, what could potentially be a difficult macro environment, um, for uh, for other asset classes such as private equity and real estate, you know, we think infrastructure is is well positioned for those reasons.